rapid development of California in the early 20th century caused many of those concerned with preserving California's vanishing features. In the early 1900s, the native daughters of the Golden West, the native sons of the Golden West, and the California Federation of Women's Clubs, among others, set out to preserve an important symbol of early California history, the El Camino Real. By reestablishing the road and installing distinctive memorial markers along the roadside. By 1913, there were about 450 iconic Mission Bell markers installed along the El Camino Real, serving as highway signage for California motorists and other travelers. Sadly, by 1997, fewer than 100 bells remained. In 1997, Caltrans Landscape Architecture Program began an effort to restore the El Camino Real Mission Bell marker system throughout California. A big boost to the program happened in the uh, year 2000 where the department applied for Federal Transportation Enhancement Activities Grant and uh, were successful. And this grant actually uh, funded all of these efforts. And uh, by 2004, 555 bells have been installed. But I have a very exciting news because we are, we are not done yet. And there are still a one piece missing from San Francisco to Sonoma. So today, I have exciting news. We have funding, and uh, we are going to complete this uh, historic route by next year. So that's all new, and it's a great news. Mrs. A.S.C. Forbes is responsible for the El Camino Real Bell. She had a passion for history and found California rich and colorful. Born in Everett, Pennsylvania, she was a historian, bell founder, and lover of bells. She married Mr. A.S.C. Forbes, and they came out west. In our history of the Native Daughters of the Golden West, it has been written that in 1904 that the Forbes formed the El Camino Real Association of California. In 1909, Mrs. A.S.C. Forbes invited the Native Daughters and other organizations to join the placing of the El Camino Real Bells along the highway, the path of the missions. Several other organizations joined, but the Native Daughters of the Golden West was the leading organization in the placing of the bells. All I can say is really it's, it's a tremendous honor to come down here and to receive one of these plaques for our organization. Uh, we were established in 1875 and, and we've done a lot of work to perpetuate Native Senism throughout the state of California. And I know this was a long project. If I remember right, this project started over three years ago and it just came to fruition this year. So uh, on behalf of the Native Sons, and I do have a tremendous amount of my associates with me here today, my board members and whatever. One of the reasons why I wanted to be part of this particular effort is that as an immigrant, I want to recognize the Native daughters and the Native sons for their contribution to the place that I live, to the place where my children are living, to the place where my sisters are living. This is a great state. It's a state that talks about how do we recognize everybody, preserve our history, and together move forward. And so I um, uh, want to just say to the daughters and to the son, you know, thank you for your vision. Thank you for your tenacity of making sure that what happened in the past is not forgotten, that our children's children will always remember that particular achievement. So again, thank you very, very much for allowing me to be here. Um, this particular bell, the bell itself is actually 100 years old. It was rescued from a, um, some uh, from someone that had uh, acquired it in the 30s and it had been in her garage ever since and wanted to make sure it was going to go up on a at a good location a, a real live location now in the picture you can probably see that um, this bell is maybe about 30 or 40 feet from the original location which is probably right over there but it was right in front of the old chronicle building the red brick building it's this is very exciting for me to be part of california history um, not only 
not only does it recognize California history as being California's first state historical icon, but it is part of California history. And I would like to add my thanks to Caltrans, to our Department of Public Works, to our Arts Commission for working together to make this happen. I also want to acknowledge that it was Commissioner Jim Lazarus who came to me over a year ago uh, with a letter from the uh, Native Daughters uh, asking that this be done. And yes, it's taken a long time, as beautiful and historic things do, uh, but this will be here forever. It'll be part of our own history now, and I want to thank the Commissioner for bringing it to our attention. The, as the stewards of San Francisco's public rights of way, uh, we're really great, very grateful to have the, this bell here uh, right in the, the center of our town. On behalf of all the San Franciscans um, who come by this spot and the millions of visitors who pass by this corner, I, I really just want to thank the organizations who, who, who made this happen and bequeath this beautiful gift to San Francisco. Thank you very much.